For most of us, a communication tools such as emails, internet and telephone play a central role in our day-to-day -day lives. Whether it's work or personal lives, e-communication is a complex and dynamic field. Let me give you a couple of examples to illustrate my point. Any organization using e-communication tools processes personal data information of their employees for managing those tools. For example, for verifying the use of the telephones by staff for the billing purposes. These days, the private use of work uh, equipment is often allowed, so any involvement of the employer on the use of a communication by employees is likely to touch upon the private lives to some degree. When you add the mobile devices such as smartphones or tablets to the mix, managing e-communication tools becomes really complicated. As an independent EU supervisory authority, our aim is to help EU institutions and the bodies to comply with their data protection obligations. The purpose of these guidelines is then to offer the practical advices to the EU institutions, which is built on 12 years of experience for integrating data protection principles in the management of e-communication tools for their everyday work. Our guidelines are primary aim to help the EU institutions to comply with data protection obligations. However, uh, anyone or any organizations interested in data protection in these two fields might find it uh, useful to use the guidelines. The data protection regulations applicable to EU institutions uh, are similar to, in many respects to the data protection directive which is implemented into the national laws of the EU member states. Though they are based on current data protection legal framework, these guidelines will remain relevant when the new framework comes into force, particularly because the emphasis on the principle of accountability. In other words, organizations will have to be able to demonstrate themselves that they are complying with their data protection obligations.